So guys, this over here is our Arduino Uno and this is our microphone module. Now see the code here. Now this LED shows that sound is detected or not. So once there is silent in the room, there will be no sound detected. And once I speak, the sound will be detected. Now I remain silent. Hello, see the sound is detected. Hello, see it's detected. Hello, see it's detected. Now guys, what is happening here is that our sensor is connected to pin number 7. We initialize that pin as input. We took a variable. We store the value coming from the sensor and digital read is the command which is used to get the value from the sensor pin. And then we check that sound is detected if a 0 is sent. So if a 0 is received, we display on the serial monitor that the sound is detected and it remains there for 3 seconds as it sends an empty line. That's all. Hello guys, welcome to learning microcontrollers. In this video, I will show you how we can detect sounds using an Arduino Uno using a microphone module. So let's get started. So guys, this over here is our Arduino Uno. This is the microphone module easily available in the market. This over here is our mic and below is the module. Now, as you can see that it has three pins. Let me label them for you. If you hold it like this, the rightmost is a VCC, the center one is the ground and leftmost is a output pin. This resistor over here you can use to adjust the sensitivity of this module. Now you can set it wherever you prefer. So guys, now what I see is that there are three pins. Let's connect it with an Arduino Uno. So I connect the VCC pin with the directly with the 5 volt pin of our Arduino. The output pin, you can connect it to any available digital input output pin. I'm going to use a pin 7 for the ground pin. I'm going to connect it to the ground like this. Now we will be use, we will be doing a very simple programming. We will just be detecting either there is silence or there is sound. Like there is silence or if there is a little bit of sound, it will detect that sound. That's all. That's what we are going to do in this video. So let me introduce you to the hardware. Guys, this over here is our hardware. As you can see, this is the mic module. And on the mic module, you can see that one LED represents that it's powered up. And there is another LED as well over here. You can see that this is connected with this potentiometer. Now see, I am speaking, it is blinking. Now if you want to change the sensitivity, you will just rotate this potentiometer using a screwdriver. Now, I hope you can see. Okay. Now I say, hello. 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 Okay. I rotated. Now the sensitivity is too much. See the LED turned on. I rotated further. Hello. Okay. It's too, it is detecting the sound very easily. Now, hello. Hello. See. Hello. The more I rotated, to the left it is increasing now the sensitivity is too much now it is detecting every sound now i will lower it down now it depends upon the room or the place where you are you will rotate this potentiometer to adjust the sensitivity now see i am speaking and it is detecting my sound the led is turning on and off see i say hello now i lower down further hello now it's increased now in the opposite direction now it is a minimum i am speaking it is not listening now see now it's listening little bit so now from here you will adjust the sensitivity now in my case what i want is that if some sound is detected it will say detected that's all so i said the uh, as per my room i set it here see now it is able to hear what i am saying when i am silent it should remain silent and when I speak, it is showing the light. It means that it is listening. See, when silent, it's silent and it's speaking. That's what we are doing here. We will be detecting either there is sound or there is no sound. So for that, I adjusted the sensitivity. Now this potentiometer will be adjusted in your application depending upon the project you are making. So my job is only to make sure that either there is a silent or there is a noise in the room. If there is a little bit of sound, then it will say sound detected. Now let's get to the Arduino IDE so we can start the programming. So guys, this is our Arduino IDE. As you can see, it turned up, turned on. Okay, this is version 2.3.2. You can use the higher version as well. Click on File, New Sketch, like this. Okay, the new sketch is opening up. Okay, it's opened. Now go to File, save your work before you do anything else. Now you should write here the name of the project. So I write here Arduino Sound Detection 
system that what I wrote you can write any name you prefer now guys this window pops up first of all we have one pin which is connected to the sensor we need to check that pin okay I remove these comments they are useless you can keep them if you want okay I write pin mode pin number seven as input so pin number seven is the pin on which our mic is connected and that pin must be declared as input now we read the pin I write here digital read pin number seven whatever the pin number seven is sending this command will read either one or zero because it's a digital input output pin now it will be either one or zero but we need to store it I take a variable called mic and integer so mic equals to whatever the value is being sent either one or zero and the mic will store it now by default I don't know I have not seen the data sheet of this module that either it sends a zero or one by default like when there is silent in the room it's zero or one now this is our question to uh, start programming further so what I do is that I will just initialize a serial monitor we will use a serial monitor and we will send the raw value this value to our serial monitor directly to check and thus this mic value if by default it's one it means that it sends the one by default if zero it sends a zero by default so we check it I will initialize a serial monitor I write serial dot begin and the baud rate I set is 9600 you can set any baud rate you prefer now guys I write here if mic is double equal to or oh sorry I write here serial dot begin or serial dot serial dot print ln what I write here mic whatever the value of mic is now I build this code I upload it what this code it's uploading now I tell you what this code is gonna do is that we initialize our pin mic pin we initialize the serial monitor and we have the variable called mic getting the value from this command digital read from pin 7 whatever the value is coming either 1 or 0 is stored in it then we are just printing this directly as a raw value on our serial monitor I go to the tools turn on the serial monitor okay okay by default it's sending a 1 as you can see when I speak it becomes a 0 see it's 1 by default and when I speak see you can see zeros as well so now we know it's 1 by default that's what I wanted to check now I write here if mic is double equal to 0 if mic is double equal to 0 what does this mean this means that the sound is detected you can see that when there is silent then it sends a 1 it only 0 when we speak so it means that if the if mic is double equal to 0 this means sound is detected sound detected now if the sound is detected we will display sound detected on our serial monitor and then it will keep on displaying this value for like I call it like delay of 3000 it would keep on displaying this sound detected for 3 seconds else if the sound is not detected then it should display nothing that will be better instead of showing no sound okay it will just skip the line there will be a line and that will be skipped an empty line like this this will just be an empty line a skipped empty line that's all now I upload this code okay it's uploading okay it's done uploading okay now I again okay here the serial monitor is open hello see sound detected for three seconds now I remain silent hello see now I will remain silent hello 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 I just reset it the Arduino the wire just uh, slipped hello see it's working like a charm hello see 
so it detects a sound when a zero is sent so guys simple as that if you guys have any questions you can ask me in the comment section i hope you guys learned something from this video thank you very much for your time we'll see you in the next video